Water, water everywhere. What makes it crystal clear? If 68.7% of the fresh water on Earth is trapped in glaciers, and almost 97% of the world's water is salty or otherwise undrinkable, how are there so many glistening pools and transparent lagoons for us to enjoy? Every body of water has its own secrets of purification, so let's find some of these out as I take a look at more beautiful places with the clearest water the planet has to offer. Silfra Lake, Iceland. Silfra Lake is the only place in the world where you can dive or snorkel in a crack directly between two tectonic plates, the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates. The Silfra Rift formed in 1789 when two tectonic plates diverged to form fissures and the Silfra fissure cut into the underground spring filled with glacial meltwater from the nearby Longjokul Glacier. The water is filtered through porous underground lava for between 30 to 100 years before reaching the spring that feeds Silfra. Fresh water constantly refills the fissure, meaning the underwater visibility of the lake will rarely, if ever, be surpassed. The lake is often said to have some of the clearest water in the world, which makes it a very popular spot for divers. The water is always about as cold as it can get without freezing, between 2 to 4 degrees Celsius all year round, but it never actually freezes thanks to the constant replenishment by spring water. In many ways, Silfra is the ultimate crystal clear body of water, if only it wasn't so dangerously cold. Jenny Spring, Florida if you're looking for crystal clear spring water, Florida is the place to be. The Sunshine State has over 900 freshwater springs and has very possibly the highest concentration of springs in the world. Few are as clear and fresh, however, as Jenny Spring, an earthen cavity that discharges approximately 30 million gallons of water per day into the Santa Fe River. The spring source is an aquifer that connects to various other springs in the area through a network of underwater caves. Florida is in fact one of the few places where you can actually look down into an aquifer, and Jenny Spring is just one of these watery windows. This is thanks to the area's highly permeable limestone substrate and the fact that the water table is so close to the surface. The water at Jenny Spring is in fact so pure that the Coca-Cola company has acquired a permit to extract up to 600,000 gallons a day from a deep well some of which it bottles is Dasani water. The water stays cool at 68 to 72 degrees, so you're unlikely to meet a heat-loving alligator during a swim. I just hope nobody tells Florida man about this refreshing oasis. Dawkey River, India The Dawkey River, also known as the Umgat River, is known to be one of the cleanest rivers in India. Tourists from all over the world have marveled at the water's incredible transparency which causes boats to appear as if they are floating above the water. The riverbed can be seen easily through the surface, even at a depth of 15 feet, and the site is best viewed from the Dawkey Bridge, which was constructed by the British in 1932. The river is located in Meghalaya State, which is India's rainiest province. Its name means abode of the clouds and the region is also known as the Scotland of the East. The river's source is found at the eastern Shillong Peak, from where the river flows down is a natural divide between the Jantia and Kasi Hills, before making its way out of India and into the plain of Bangladesh. The river is fed by rainwater that's filtered through permeable rock aquifers, mainly gneiss, alluvium, and quartzite, which give the water its clarity and color. Since the river is rain-fed, it only looks this way during the drier months between October and April. In monsoon season, the river overflows and fills with dirt and sediment that clouds the artesian water. If you want to experience this stunning river, just make sure you visit at the right time of year. San Blas, Panama the San Blas Archipelago in Panama is an island sanctuary that's home to 365 pristine islands with white sand beaches and unbelievably clear seawater. The color ranges from pale blue to aquamarine as you venture further out to sea. The islands are perfect for snorkeling, and the Golfo de San Blas has one of the best preserved coral reefs in the world, where you're allowed to snorkel. 
there are dozens of starfish that are easily located thanks to the water's clarity, which is a result of restrictions on boat activity in the area. The clear waters also afford incredible views of a variety of marine life, such as sharks and zebrafish, which are in abundance. You might also recognize this image, which was taken from an island in San Blas. Any guesses? It was a stock background for Windows XP. There you have it. The water in San Blas is so clear that Microsoft decided to make it famous. Macurella, Menorca, Spain Tucked away on the south coast of Menorca, one of Spain's legendary Balearic Islands, there's a beach called Cala Macarela, which is famous for its impeccably clear turquoise waters and pristine white sand. The beach is flanked by rocky coastline covered in pine trees and home oaks, which affords protection from both wind and strong currents. The water is deep enough to anchor boats, but shallow enough to see right down to the seabed so snorkeling is strongly encouraged. Though you hardly even need to put your head underwater to observe marine life through the glassy water, tourists flock to Macarella so it can get a little busy. And while you might be tempted to head to the smaller, quieter Macarellata beach nearby, it's renowned to be a spot for nudists, which might make you think twice about the merits of underwater visibility. The Blue Eye, Albania. Located in southern Albania, the Blue Eye is the country's largest spring and biggest source of drinking water. The spring discharges around 18,400 liters per second and feeds the Bistris River, which eventually flows into the Ionian Sea. The Blue Eye is what's known as a karst aquifer, which are formed by the slow dissolution of soluble rocks such as limestone, dolomite, and gypsum. The dissolution causes the formation of extensive underground drainage systems with many sinkholes and caves, but it also creates an excellent filtration system for the uprushing spring water, which is why the blue eyes water appears so transparent. The pool gets its name from the vivid blue pupil shape of the cave, which is surrounded by the turquoises and greens of a shallower iris. The blue eye is over 50 meters deep, but no one knows exactly how deep because divers are unable to safely travel further down. Some claim that it's bottomless. Casa en el Agua, Colombia. Talk about a house on the water. The Casa en el Agua, which literally means house in the water, is a former holiday home in Colombia. The 25-year-old wooden structure is built on a concrete foundation under the sea, which is only visible thanks to the stunning clarity of the seawater. One of the best things about the house's location is that you can get straight out of bed and dive from the first floor balcony into the crystal clear waters of the Caribbean. It's apparently a very good cure for a hangover, which you'd probably have if you stayed here, given that the whole place is a dedicated party hostel. The hostel is not far from the Isla del Rosario, which contains one of Colombia's largest and most important coral reefs. Try not to party and snorkel at the same time though, folks. Lago de Braze, Dolomites, Italy. The Lago de Braze is the largest natural lake in the Dolomites. As well as being unbelievably clear, the lake also reflects an astonishing range of colors, from mossy greens to arctic blues. It's often referred to as the most beautiful lake in South Tyrol, and it became famous in Italy in recent years thanks to a TV show called Un Paso dal Cielo, where the emerald green lake featured as a backdrop. The lake somehow manages to be simultaneously reflective, colorful, and clear, as you can see from these images. It's also one of Instagram and Pinterest's most photographed lakes for this reason, which brings tourists in their hundreds throughout the year. For most of the year, the water is very cold, so even though it looks inviting, taking a dip is not for the faint of heart. Maybe just enjoy the photorealistic reflections of mountains shining off the water. Now let's take a break from this chilly lake and head to some sun-soaked tropical sandbars that deserve an honorable mention. Zanzibar, Tanzania. If you like getting away from it all, it doesn't get much more remote than this sandbar off the coast of Zanzibar. The half-submerged sand is blindingly white, and the surrounding waters of the Indian Ocean are a vivid, translucent teal color that's almost otherworldly. As a general rule, the further you are from civilization, the clearer waters will be and I'd expect nothing less from a sandbar in Zanzibar. El Cielo, Mexico. El Cielo means both sky and heaven in Spanish, and if you visit the El Cielo sandbar off Cozumel Island in Mexico, you're bound to experience both. The name reflects the fact that the sky blue water is packed full of starfish, but you don't need a telescope to gaze at these stars. 
the water is clear enough for you to see dozens of starfish all at once. And if you keep an eye out, you might see a stingray or a turtle making its way through the transparent sea. Shallower water tends to have higher visibility and the most vivid colors, both of which are abundant in this tropical paradise. Now it's time to look at a place that's scientifically verified to have some of the best underwater visibility on Earth. Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Lake Tahoe is known as America's clearest lake and has often been voted as America's best lake outright. The lake takes up a huge area in the Tahoe Basin in the Sierra Nevada mountain range, and it's actually the largest alpine lake in North America. Its deepest point is 1,645 feet down, and it holds approximately 39 trillion gallons of deep blue water. Tahoe is also known as the purest lake in North America. Its water is 99.994% pure, which is only 0.004% less pure than commercially distilled water, which makes me wonder why someone hasn't bottled it yet. In 1968, Tahoe's maximum clarity was recorded at an astonishing 105 feet, though 2013 estimates put the clarity at around 70 feet. The water is so clear because 40% of the rain that makes up the lake's watershed falls directly into the lake, and the remaining rainfall drains through marshes and meadows that filter the water even further. There are also several aquifers that feed water through river valleys into the lake, such as the Ward Valley, and they're made up of rocks that date back to the Jurassic period. Lake Tahoe itself is at least 2 million years old, which is around the time when recognizable humans would have emerged so there's every chance our oldest ancestors enjoyed its dazzlingly clear waters. After that journey, I don't know whether to shiver or sweat. So which of these places would you most like to swim in? Or do you think we should ban people from doing so? Maybe you know of any other crystal clear bodies of water? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, check out part one on screen now for some more amazingly clear bodies of water. Thanks for watching.